This is Algebra 1, Lesson 9.3, Factoring Quadratics. So we said a quadratic is when you have your highest exponent is the second power. So this is a quadratic expression. So what we're going to do is we're going to factor it, which means we're going to write it as a product of two linear. So we want to get rid of that x squared. In linear, remember, the highest exponent is 1 expressions. So we're going to do the backwards FOIL method. If you remember when we FOIL, we take our x times our x and get our x squared. And then when we do the outside and the inside, they're like terms, so we combine those together. And then when we do our last, we multiply our last terms by each other. So what we're doing is we're looking for two numbers when you add them together you get the middle term which is our b and when you multiply them you get our third term which is our c. So we're going to start with two positives and then we'll introduce some negatives. So we have x squared plus 6x plus 8. 6 is positive, 8 is positive. So we're looking for two numbers when you add them together you get 6 when you multiply them, you get 8, and they're both going to be positive. It's easier to start with the multiplying. There's fewer possibilities. So I'm just going to start looking at my options for two numbers that multiply together to give us 8. So I usually just start with 1. I say 1 times 8 gives us 8. 2 times 4 gives us 8. 3 doesn't go into 8 and 4 we already use. So those are our two choices, 1 times 8 or 2 times 4. Now we're looking for two numbers. When we add them, we get 6. 1 plus 8 gives us 9, but 2 plus 4 gives us the 6 we're looking for. So that's what we're going to use, our 2 and our 4. So we're going to do the backwards FOIL. So I usually set up my parentheses. I put my x's in. And in this case, it's going to be plus plus because we're dealing with two positives. And so then you want your 2 and your 4. It doesn't matter which one goes first. So if you wanted to check this, since this is our first time, let's go ahead and FOIL it. So we're going to do our first term. x times x is x squared. We're going to do our outside, which is 4x. We're going to do our inside, which is 2x. And we're going to do our last, which is 2 times 4, or 8. And then, you know, we have to combine our like terms. So 4x plus 2x gives us 6x and bring our 8 down. And you can see we're back where we started. Okay, let's try it again. We're looking for two numbers. When we multiply them, we get 36. When we add them, we get 13. So again, you can always just start at 1 times 36 gives you 36. 2, it's an even number, so I know 2 is going to go in there. 2 times 18 is 36. 3, I know 3 goes in here evenly, so 3 goes in there 12 times. 4 times 9 is 36. If you're not sure, just start punching in your calculator. Divide by 2, divide by 3, divide by 4. If you get a decimal, you know it's not divisible. 5 doesn't go into 36 evenly, so then we're going to go to 6. 6 times 6 is 36. So those are all the choices I have for two numbers that multiply together to give us 36. Now I'm looking for two of them. When I add them, I get 13. This one's going to give me 37. This one's going to give me 20. This one's going to give me 15. Oh, there it is. It looks like 4 times 9 is 36, and 4 plus 9 is 13. So that's the one we're going to use, the 4 and the 9. So again, we're doing our backwards FOIL. I set up my parentheses. I put my X's. And again, in this case, we're going to use all pluses. And I put my 4 and my 9. It doesn't matter which one comes first. If we check it, X times X is X squared. Outside is 9x, inside is 4x, 9x plus 4x gives us our 13, and 4 times 9 is 36. And we're just going to stop there. That's all we have to do. All right. all right. Now, let's go ahead and introduce one negative. So this time our middle term, our b is negative, but our c is still positive. The only way you can multiply two numbers together and get a positive, they have to be the same sign. So they're both positive or they're both, both negative. But the only way you can add two numbers together to get um, a negative 
you either have to have a bigger negative number and a smaller positive number, or they're both negative. So this time, we're going to use both negatives. So we're looking for two negative numbers. So again, we're going to look for a list of numbers that when we multiply them together, we get 6. So there's 1 times 6, 2 times 3, and then we're back to 3 times 2. So those are our only two choices. And when we add them together, we want to get 5. So it looks like we're going to use 2 times 3. Okay, this time we said they're both going to be negative. So I'm going to put my minuses in instead of my pluses. And again, it doesn't matter which one comes first, 2 or 3. If we FOIL it, we're going to see what happens. We should end up back where we started. So we do our first term. We do our outside terms. We do our inside terms. And we do our last. Negative 2 times negative 3 gives us positive 6. We combine our middle terms, our like terms together. And we're back where we started. All right, let's try another one. Okay, we're looking for two numbers. When we multiply them together, we get 16. So I'm just going to start with 1 times 16, 2 times 8, 3 doesn't go evenly into it, and 4 times 4. So now that we have our choices, we want to see which two add together to give us 10. It looks like 2 and 8 is going to work for us. So we set up our parentheses, and again, we're looking for both negatives. That's the only way we can get a positive product but a negative sum. And so we're going to put one here, one here. It doesn't matter which one comes first. If we FOIL it, we should be back where we started. x squared outside gives us, us negative 8x, inside gives us negative 2x, and last gives us positive 16. Combine our like terms together, and we're back where we started. And we're going to save the other two cases for our next lesson when we have a negative and a negative or a positive and a negative. So please try the practice problems and let me know if you have any questions. Thank you.